YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. It is Wednesday, it has already been a crazy, busy, hectic week, which is awesome. We are getting a lot of stuff done. Um, I know a couple things I wanna go over with you guys. This came in. You guys saw the Flux Raider in the last video when we were talking about it. Oh man. Let's see who's interrupting. Who's interrupting the vlog? FedEx, what'd you bring us? Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, looks like these are clips for holsters, but looks like the bag ripped open. So we're gonna have to look at that. Uh, anyway, back to what we were talking about. I wanted to mount my Trijicon SRO, and I wanted to use the Jaegerworks, um, their SRO shield, I think they call it the BROS. I forget the exact acronym, what it means right now. Anyway, I needed a an American Defense QD mount, so that came in. And yeah, we're good to go now. So I'm waiting on one more thing, which is a threaded barrel. Um, I went to pick one up from Ventura, I went to hang out with Mike yesterday. Oh, my hand's stuck there because this thing's looking for a righty, not a lefty. Um, and the problem is, SIG, in their infinite wisdom, um, they made their 9mm barrels, left hand twist, and 13 5mm, I think. And I know some of you guys in the comments are like, oh, that's standard, that's normal. I get it, but it's not what's normally used out there. Half by 28 is what I think like every 9mm threading I have is. So, found a barrel, uh, stainless steel one for like 100 bucks, and I'm gonna use that. Um, ordered it, hopefully it's here by the weekend so we can get on the range with it. If not, I have a couple other videos that I can film. Um, got my Tri-11 back um, for, with the, Excuse me, the Trijicon RMR plate, which I didn't even know they made, 419 11s, 2011s. Problem is, the screw that came with the mount for the RMR snapped off inside, so I had to get a torch to get these, um, the rock setted mount. Anyway, it was a big old hassle. Um, got the mount sent back to Trijicon, hopefully, we can get that back and get a, another video on our Tri 11. Plus, I need that so that I can do the video on these guys the duty holsters from Black Hawk and from Safari Land um, in regards to the whole uh, 2011, what you what you should use or what you could use the options that it gets out there. Um, what else we have going on? Uh, there's a cool holster color combo. I like when you guys come out with these crazy, like awesome, cool color combos. So I wanna go show you guys that real quick. So let's head out here. It would be for this guy right here, our uh, kimono blue with the carbon fiber purple. I think it just came out really awesome. I gotta get this in for photos so that it can ship. It does I'd be happy that it's not here anymore. Yeah, up, but it's cute. Yeah, this came out super cool. Yeah. We had that like the blue kimono and yellow one, and now we have this one. Um, we got a package from FedEx. I think it's attack or clips with the wingman, but but the bag was ripped open and they put it in their bag, so we might want to do it now to find out if all of them got shipped. Okay. Here is the final QC assembly area. What's up, Mark? What's up, man? How you doing, man? Doing good. What's going on? Packaging away. So Eric just got a notice from Zev about a hypercomp that's been delayed till 2021. <laughs> Heartbroken. So uh, you guys probably won't see that review till next year when that comes in. Um, I was gonna get one, I was kinda back and forth with it, and then Eric's like, I really want that gun, so he bought one, and we're gonna review it, but because, I think they're just having a problem getting parts, right? Yeah. The email said. So like everybody else right now, parts are really hard to come by in the gun industry, so once those come in, this guy will be happy to get and get on it. Yeah. John and I spent all morning looking at different gong targets, I think we're gonna go with the Zitac ones. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I got a notification from American Defense Manufacturing today that our 18 inch SPR DMR build has been shipped. So that will be a video coming up soon with the new Attaball X. They're one in 10 with the new reticle and their slate sage green. It's kind of, you guys will see the colors. Uh, it goes back and forth between green and blue, but I think it's gonna contrast nicely with the FTE gun that we did. What's up guy? What's up? How's it going man? Sherman. Hey yo. What's up? What's up buddy? So Compton's decided he's gonna go full time. That's right. Don't think about that. 
What'd you say? What do I think about I'm that? I'm asking them what they think. Oh, about. I don't know. Let's get your votes, people. <laughs> But anyway, as you guys see, busy as always, working away. Um, and yeah, when you guys pick awesome, cool stuff like this, we try to pull them aside and get them on the gram. So if you see your holster out there, definitely you know, hop in. Oops, sorry, right, hop in on the comments and be like, hey, that's my holster. But uh, other things to talk about, Young Life Raffle is gonna end soon. Um, I think in a couple days. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, hit up our website. $25 tickets and you get to pick any holster that we offer and any combination that we offer and we'll ship the holster to you that week. We're picking three winners because we want to send three kids. It's going to cost us around $2,500 to $3,000. So we're hoping we sell 100 tickets, but I think we're probably around like 50 or so. But either way, we're going to make sure these kids get to go and we'll cover the uh, rest of the expenses to get them to camp. Um, other things going on. I'm sure everybody's been seeing all of these posts, but yeah, ATF has come out. And I, I've read a little bit into it. Uh, the Gun Collective, John, John Patton did an awesome video explaining it all and highlighting some of the stuff in the documentation that is just completely outrageous, unreasonable, unethical. Um, and luckily there's a bunch of actual political representatives that are coming forward and saying that this is uh, just a complete um, abuse of power, abuse of authority on the ATF's part. They're pretty much targeting Q, if you're not familiar, uh, in regards to his brace that is made by SB Tactical for the Honey Badger, a very popular gun in the industry. But pretty much the thousands and thousands of people that have this gun because of this ruling from the ATF, um, they become felons overnight, which is ridiculous. So uh, if you haven't seen our Instagram, um, we have all the swipe up links to get a hold of representatives that are involved with this. Um, everybody's getting involved. So you have SB Tactical jumping on board, obviously. Q, Q's attorney hired a big high profile law firm to start addressing the matter and uh, trying to get this all resolved. In addition to that, um, NRA's hopping involved, or hopping in and getting involved. I know some of you out there aren't a fan of the NRA. I understand why, uh, completely do. So I'm not a fan of everything they do either. However, they are helping out as well. But definitely things to look at. Um, I know a lot of us weren't fans of the bump stock, but even so, it starts things like this, so you definitely want to get involved. Um, your voice does go a long way, especially when there's a hundreds of thousands of them. So please definitely check out SB Tactical or Q's website and jump on board. Just if do especially, it. I know a lot of you guys out there own braces, so we don't want to see um, an abuse of power by the government in regards to the braces that we have for our pistols. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna try to get back to work. Um, check out this box real quick. There's something in there. That will be for another video. Um, I'm gonna get back to work, like I said. Uh, oh, sorry. There's more. It's like this box, this 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 table over here, is like where all the new stuff just comes in and gets put everywhere. But I'm gonna get back to work, get this video edited, um, put up today for you guys, get the discount codes put in. Uh, we are working on an entire new website. Excuse me, when that happens, website will probably be down for maintenance for a couple hours or for a day. We're gonna switch everything over to a new platform that's more gun friendly. Um, and I'll explain more about that when we get it all switched over and I have time to kind of dive in and break it all down, especially for you guys out there that are trying to start, start small businesses and looking at uh, the web e-commerce side of things. It's definitely some stuff I learned along the way that will save you literally thousands of dollars. Um, yeah, long story short, uh, I'm getting ripped off for about six to 10 grand through my current provider. And so, yeah, but I'll break it all down for you and explain to you guys. That way you guys don't end up making the same mistakes. Um, but anyway, Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Like the video. If you guys watch uh, Nick Merckx, you know where that's from. Um, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to support our content, check out that Patreon link down below. Patreon members get access to new content, new gear, special discount codes, giveaways. Oh, speaking of which, I have a package from Hollow Sun right here. So, you Patreon guys, you Patreon squad members, uh, this I will get posted in our uh, Discord chat soon. But yeah, I think. A red dot giveaway from Hollow Sun is in order. So that's all I got for you guys. As always, I appreciate you checking out the video, and I will see you in the next one.